Hi everyone! Today I will be unboxing my new set of watercolor paints and I am really proud that they are from Ukrainian manufacturer Rosa, who already produce oil, acrylic and gouache paints and recently started to do also watercolors. They are positioned as a professional grade and believe me, for the scarce Ukrainian art market it's a very good news because it's a good quality for a reasonable price. I won the set in a giveaway and I also had a possibility to choose my own 28 colors from their color range. What I really like is this metal box with two pellets for mixing and I also like that pens are securely fixed into the metal tray. Rosa produce uh, full pens, each is uh, two and a half millimeters and each pen has info about color name, about light fastness, which is not very important for me, about transparency opacity and about pigments which is included in each paint. Individual pen package isn't very good. Paint is still fresh and almost liquid, so when I finished to open all pens, both my hands were covered with paint and for a couple of pens I had to wait for a day, leaving paint on the open air to dry and a lot of paint was stick to the paper cover. But these sticky paints are the only thing which I didn't like about this set. In everything else I was completely happy. I love this metal box, it's, it's quite convenient and it's also easy to transport it, to take away all your paints with you if you want to take it to the planner. It's also possible to put a small brush inside. Maybe I just wish that I could put into it another two pens of paint, because previously I already purchased another two colors. So now in total I have 30 colors of Rosa watercolors and now I am going to swatch them all. I am using cheap watercolor paper. I am happy with the color range of all colors which I choose. I am glad that a lot of paints are one or two pigmented, many paints are transparent and some of colors immediately became my favorites, like cobalt turquoise, like quinacridone gold, magenta, olive green. Paints are highly pigmented and I was surprised that they almost don't become paler after drying. You know that it's usual thing that watercolors became paler. I can't say anything about whether they are professional or not, because I myself is far from experienced watercolorist, but for coloring books they are great. I hope that on better paper paints will look even better. Of course, I will do color wheel with two with three basic colors and I will start to learn how they mix, because it's really important to get used to new art mediums, to learn them better, to test them more, before you are able to give opinion about quality and you know that I always try to test paper in my coloring books before giving you my opinion and testing pencils before doing a review. So for today it would be just swatching and I try to do a couple of things on the sheet of paper, but it was just a start, so I am always trying to be careful about giving my opinion about our supplies before I thoroughly tested them. But as a beginner, for me it's a very good set and for coloring books they are 
very helpful. Thank you for watching this small review. You can see it until the end and to laugh at my attempts to draw an autumn leaf, but I enjoy it really. Thank you for watching and I hope that you also have a lot of new inspiring art supplies. Bye, have a happy day!